Hey guys, so we just made it to Epcot! To Flower and Garden! We are so excited to try all the different food! Yes, and look, it has so many foods on the list that look amazing, drinks look great. Mm -hmm. It's a great time and looking to see all the topiaries and the butterflies. Yes, it's one of our favorite festivals, so we can't wait to show you what we do today. We just got to Epcot! And who do we see? Our favorites, Mickey and Minnie! We're so happy, our heart is full of joy. We can't wait to just stand there, socially distance, and wave at them. Here's Minnie! He's my favorite! And there's Mickey too! support this message. Look how beautiful. So Danny, what did you get? Right. So what we got here, we're gonna do a little cinnamon sugar donut with some bacon get on there. Mm -hmm. You got the avocado toast. I got the, the avocado toast. Absolutely amazing with the fruit loop shake. Yes. And I got myself the adult beverage. <laughs> Which is gonna be Kahlua, vodka, cream, and Joffrey's coffee. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, so much bacon it's cinnamon, and sugar. Cinnamon toast, right? Oh. I'm having the fried cinnamon roll with cream cheese, frosting, and candy bacon. Let's go. Avocado toast, this looks so beautiful, and this has been one of the items, the new items that I really, really want to try. Let's go! Look at this fruit loop shape, it looks amazing and blue. Cheers with my fruit. I'm so excited and this is the last bottom of the milk that's full of the flavor and the crunchies. This is so good. Oh, cheers. <laughs> does the butter good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cheers, Danny. Cheers, guys. Tasty. Very good. Uh, definitely gonna get a lot of the vodka uh, and a lot of the cold brew coffee. I'm not a big coffee person. I do enjoy coffee. I prefer it on the sweeter side. So the fact that this has milk, Kahlua, and uh, the vanilla vodka, it works for me. The cold brew is a little bit strong, but if you like cold brew, this is definitely one to get for you. So I will say an adult white Russian works in the parts. Cheers, guys. We just finished trying some food from the Sunshine Griddle and they were delicious. <laughs> yes, I think everything we tried from there was amazing. We tried the avocado toast. We tried the fried uh, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. I had the Fruit Loops shake and Danny had the uh, no coffee. Joffrey's coffee. The Joffrey alcoholic coffee. Yes. I give everything a 10 out of 10. Yep. Definitely, everything was good. Yeah, definitely the food in total, uh, everything on there is great. The only thing we didn't try were the shrimp and grits on there and the breakfast potato with pork egg. We'll which, get that next time. Which sounds delicious, but we have a lot we want to try to take over today. So we kind of took a break on those. I said these ones, these were the ones that kind of looked the best to us. And, and I, we didn't have breakfast, so we wanted very yeah. brunchy, uh, early morning sweetness. Yeah. And by <laughs> far, I think we did a great job with these choices because they were awesome. The avocado toast was so fresh, so colorful, so full of flavor. The bread was very crunchy, it wasn't soggy at all. It was perfect. It was cooked perfectly. 
I think the the fried cinnamon rolls yeah. were pretty delicious too. The yeah. ca and candy add, bacon. Yeah, the bacon on there adds the extra salt on there for the cinnamon and sugar that just gives the perfect balance as well with that coffee. Mm -hmm. It yeah. even enhances both items on there. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm not big on avocado, but that toast was delicious. Nice, rich, creamy. And it's something that I really think we're going to probably try to recreate at home. Most definitely. I think that all of these items were delicious. The only thing I would say is try to get a bottle of water after you're done because everything is so sweet and full of flavor that you'll definitely need a palate cleanser, especially after that Fruit Loop shake, yeah. which was amazing, really was amazing. But I definitely need some water now. So I'm gonna get some in the next booth. <laughs> In normal pre-COVID years, they would have the playground open, but they obviously don't have it open because of COVID. But they have an area right next door where you can sit down and eat. So we decided to do the garden graze today to be able to try the mango lime dill whip at the end. And we are starting with the grilled baby vegetables from the Flavorful Kitchen. We are standing here next to the amazing and beautiful bed of flowers and here we are about to eat some veggies and let me tell you it's hot today so bring a lot of masks that way you could change them up and although my hair is down it's probably gonna go in braids pretty soon <laughs> so our first meal for the garden graves is the it's gonna be grilled vegetables coming from the flavorful food Good. They're pretty tasty. What I do enjoy is the fact that vegetables, when they're grilled, they just have that actual grilled flavoring on there, which softens it up. And uh, anything that's grilled, I enjoy. So <laughs> it's pretty delicious. I think the hummus is pretty tasty. It's just a nice little bite. Yeah, the red pepper it's gives fresh. you extra flavor. Yes. I think overall, I'm going to give this a six out of ten. So we just went to Trowers. Trowers. We are trying possible short rib. We got two. And the street corn. And we got this table right next to the water on this hot day. It's amazing to have this nice wind. Gonna try the impossible short rib. Mm. Can you really go wrong with corn? We don't think so. Corn on the cob is always great. So let's try this. Finish a mobile and his. <laughs> Very tasty, delicious. The flavors combination overall were a little bit overpowering with each other. It's an item that I definitely enjoyed for a uh, uh, city. Yeah. If it's something that you see on there and you're like, wow, this looks amazing, definitely get it because you're gonna love it. Uh, for I me, think it's worth a try, even if you're not. No, you know? I was to say, like, definitely having it one time is gonna be good. It's not necessarily something I would probably repeat. It reminds me a little bit of a poke bowl. Yeah. Um, the flavors of the rice and the, the other flavors outside of the it impossible the shortbread. Mm -hmm. like, you know, nice little Asian flavor and the, the Korean shortbread sauce on there. I just feel like it's overpowering due to the fact that it's trying to cover the fact that it's not real vegan. <laughs> but it's good. I think it's a great uh, vegan option for yeah, sure. 100% of the best vegan option I think so far that we can have. But it has a lot of flavor. Like although yeah. the short rib obviously is not meat, but but it still has a lot of flavor. So 100% it's a great vegan option. Yeah. I'd give it a six, seven out of 10. Yeah, I'd give it about a lot of seven. Uh, it's definitely good. It's not necessarily something I would repeat, but it is good, great flavor on it. So we just had the street corn at Trowel and Trellis, and it was? <laughs> what did you think about it, Danny? Uh, I thought it was very tasty on there. It could have been cooked a little bit more, but definitely the garlic butter spread that they have on that gives it a complete good flavor taste on there. Completely agree. So get the street corn. As our nephew Noah would say, this is a sneak peek at Harmonious. We have to admit, it does not look pretty in the daytime right now, especially since it doesn't have the fountains going, but it's supposed to have water shooting out from all of the three vessels. So we're excited to see that. The World Showcase is so beautiful without anything in the middle. So this kind of is an eyesore in the middle of the World Showcase. But we know Disney does it well. 
and it's gonna be beautiful at the end and especially at night so Noah here's a shout out to you and like your little brother Liam says I want to eat so we're gonna continue on to the world showcase and try more food from Flower and Garden the three caballeros hey guys we love the three caballeros So we just finished having some food from Jardín de Fiestas in Mexico and it was it was good. It was just great. It didn't overwhelm us, right? And I think for me the two items that we had was the vampiro taco and the sopa de chorizo. Uh, the sopa de chorizo by far was the best item on there. Yeah, that's the one I chose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the vampiro sounded delicious. I thought it was going to be amazing. I also had some uh, good flavors on there, but the flavors weren't amazing on it though. The cheese crust on there was good and the flavor was good. but It just wasn't worth the money. It was it was a very small piece for $7. It was not worth it. There's better food around the World Showcase. The sope de chorizo was actually pretty delicious. And I would say it's worth it. It's worth it. So on a very hot day at Epcot, we recommend frozen margaritas. <laughs> there are so many flavors to choose from, but we're trying the mango this time. Can we please talk about how adorable are these pandas in China Pavilion? We found a great spot here in the showcase. Outpost with tahini seasoning. I took a bite. It's very juicy. Let's try it again. My turn now. Both just tried the pineapple skewer from the refreshment post. And what do you think, Danny? It's a no. <laughs> it's not that it's no, uh, because the pineapple itself, if the pineapple was alone in a skewer, oh my god, amazing. The pineapple is so juicy and full of flavor. But that seasoning is just way too much and once the juice of the pineapple comes out, it expands that seasoning all over your palate and it just stops me from being able to enjoy it. So. 100% agree. Yeah. I think the seasoning is too overpowering. My suggestion would be maybe, if you wanna try it, scrape off a little bit of the seasoning on your first bite, see how you do with that and then add more of the seasoning. But um, the pineapple itself is so good. It's the seasoning that's a no for me. Yeah, you can use the little bow tray as a dipping sauce and just dip your pineapple in there and get extra seasoning if it's something you enjoy. 100%. I recommend you do that. Yeah, I mean, give it a try. If you love pineapple, it's something different. It's just know that it's overpowering. Now it's time for Germany. What did we get, Danny? So we got some Wehan Stefan's Helles Lagers and we got some potato pancakes with applesauce. Yum, let's try them. potato pancake. Uh, they do have a ham, cheese, and onion version of this, which those flavors might be more if you like them. Uh, the applesauce, it's nice and sweet. It's more uh, soft glazing than it is chunky. The reason why we chose this one was because we're doing the garden grades and this is part of the menu, so. So this is to finish it off. We just finished it, so next well, not next, but once we're all done, we get to try mango, mango lime Dole Whip. Dole Whip. <laughs> Buongiorno, Danny. So it's buona, buonasera? Buonasera. Instead of flower and garden for Italy, we wanted to try their pizza window that just reopened. So right next to the Pizza Al Taglio, we went to our little hidden space here to eat our pizza. We got a pepperoni pizza, margarita pizza, a cannoli, and some beers. Cheers! Danny has been wanting to get a pizza slice from Italy 
for forever. And now he's having a pepperoni slice. Oh my God, it looks like the one we got in Rome. Remember? Take a bite. Whoa, that was a big boy. <laughs> what do you think, Danny? Thumbs up? Best pizza? At Disney? Best pizza. But not in Italy. <laughs> but it's good. It's up there. Pizza cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now I get to try the regular cheese margarita. Oh. How does that taste? Oh my god. That's pizza? That's Disney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Ninja Turtle approved? Ninja Turtle approved. Yeah, same here for the pepperoni. The cheese is so good! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's a nice fresh cheese. Oh, it's fresh cheese. It's a big chunky slice. Like me. <laughs> it's delicious. Approved. First time I ever tried a cannoli was in Florence, Italy, in the Mercato Centrale. So here's my first time trying a cannoli at Epcot. Cheers! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 try? It's no Florence cannoli. <laughs> I'd, pa I'd pass on the cannoli, but definitely get the pizza. I'll pass on the cannoli, although it's not bad. Uh, yeah, this is no Florence. <laughs> Florence Magic Cannoli is not here. <laughs> so we just finished having some margarita pizza and pepperoni pizza from Pizza Taglio oh, next to Pizzeria Napoli in the Italy Pavilion at Epcot, and it was delicious. We definitely recommend the pizza. Don't spend the money on the cannoli. It's not that it's not good, it's good. It's but for not $5, worth it. It's, it's not, not worth it for the size that it is as well. But the pizza is worth it, so get the pizza. The pizza after the first bite, my belly told me, give me the pizza. <laughs> and it I is. gave it the full pizza. Ninja Turtle approved. Yes. <laughs> it's the best crispy small pepperoni, two pepperonis that they are out there. It's true pepperoni, so. the cheese was very fresh, the pizza was thick, it was delicious. Authentic so we definitely recommend delicious. it. Pizza Taglio. One of the best views of the World Showcase is right here in the Japan Pavilion. This is Japan. This right here is another one of our favorites. Beauty and the Beast in Paris, aka France Pavilion. <laughs> Do you guys want to know who my beast is? Who the beast to my bell is? This guy. Rah. It's a fairy garden and there's Tinkerbell. We are now going to the festival offerings here at the World Show Place. We're at the World Show Place. Look, flower and garden picture wall. Oh, look at that. Here they usually have a pianist on stage playing some wonderful music. So we got the Off the Beat and Path Beat Prefiteroles and the Watermelon Mint Beer. From the festival favorites, we have the Beef Brisket Burnt End and Smoked Pork Belly Slider. And the frozen lemonade. And a regular frozen lemonade, now not the hot. Perfect for a they hot, do, steamy day. Yes, they do have a little blackberry moonshine, but we chose to opt out today. Because we have to drive back home. <laughs> so we'll get it next time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this, as I am not a fan of pickles. Neither am I. And then I'm gonna grab the rest of this messy guy. It's gonna be a messy one. And I'm just gonna bite this while I chew on the other one. So. Probably should have kept the stick in. <laughs> This is the one that Danny's been wanting to try. <laughs> and does it disappoint? Does it make you happy? Oh, happy. <laughs> Such a mess, I'm so happy. <laughs> Danny's about to try the... Off the beaten path. 
I've added some of the candy walnuts in there just because I am a nut guy. Uh, it's a small bite, so I'm just gonna dedicate myself to it. So, <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. This right here is the watermelon mint, and that is the frozen lemonade. Both are pretty delicious and pretty refreshing. We're at the World Show Place and we tried a few different foods. We tried the off the beaten path profiteroles and the burnt end beef slider. The profiteroles were very fresh and they were yummy. They weren't our favorites, but they were still delicious. And Danny's favorite, probably of the festival, was the burnt end sliders. It was meat overload, which makes him happy. <laughs> uh, everything just worked out fine. For me, the only thing is I'm not a pickle fan, so I took that out. It was delicious. As we leave the show place, it's nighttime, but here's Mickey and Minnie again. They're so beautiful. So we fully redeemed our garden grays and we got a mango lime dole whip. And we also got some seeds, some Purple dark opal basil. We will grow this yeah, we'll be for sure. Home. So here we go. We're gonna try mango lime Dole Whip. So Danny's trying the mango, mango lime, lime Dole, Dole Whip. Mmm. You know, great flavor, light refreshing. This was a good win. So we just tried the mango lime Dole Whip and oh my God, it is so refreshing. It's so worth <laughs> everything that we did for getting this because not only do we get the plastic cup and the seeds to grow our own basil at home, this is delicious. It's very delicious. So the Garden Grays is definitely worth it just for this. Yes, I agree. It's been an amazing day here at Epcot. Flower and Garden Festival. We did a lot, we ate a lot, everything was wonderful, and a magical day at Epcot as usual. Thanks for joining us, and remember to be kind always. <laughs>